The 2025 Kia Soul keeps the formula that works, cramming a lot of usefulness and value into a small package. It's the cheapest crossover from Kia and even more affordable than the Celto's Niro and Sportage. Calling it an SUV might be a bit of a stretch since it doesn't offer all-wheel drive, but you'll probably compare it with other budget-friendly small SUVs anyway. Despite its low price, the Soul doesn't skimp on features. Most trims, except the base LX, come with a 10.2-inch touchscreen, a wireless charging pad, and a blind spot warning. Its SUV-like storage capacity is impressive, too, offering over 60 cubic feet with the back seat folded down. The 2025 Soul, with its small size and budget-friendly price, goes head-to-head -head with the Chevrolet Trax, Hyundai Venue, and Nissan Kicks. If you need all-wheel drive, take a look at Kia Seltos. For better fuel efficiency, the Niro might be a better fit. Our vehicle testing team dives into a new batch of cars every week, blending track tests with real-world driving on city streets, freeways, and twisty roads. The data we collect, we turn into our expert rating, based on over 30 scores covering every part of the automotive experience. The Kia Soul has plenty of perks. Its boxy design means a spacious passenger cabin and a large cargo area. Plus, it's a blast to drive with its impressive handling and user-friendly CVT. Despite a few minor issues, this small SUV delivers great value and stands out as one of the best compacts. How does the Soul drive? Well, its 2.0-liter engine might not be the fastest, but it's lively enough for city driving. The steering feels natural, and you'll be pleasantly surprised by its cornering abilities. The CVT automatic mostly mimics a traditional automatic, which is a plus. At our track, the Soul clocked 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds, a solid time for a small SUV. The steering effort is light and builds up naturally as you turn. In corners, the Soul holds its own against sporty rivals like the Mazda CX-30 and Mini Countryman. It stops well in emergencies, though the brake pedal can be a bit touchy at low speeds, needing some adjustment time. One downside is that there's no all-wheel drive option. How comfy is the Soul? Pretty good, actually. The front seats remain comfortable even after hours of driving. The rear seat back angle is fixed but set at a nice relaxed angle. The ride itself is firm yet controlled, avoiding any harshness. Unlike some competitors, the Soul stays solid over bigger bumps, not feeling like it's falling apart. At highway speeds, the upright windshield does let in some wind noise, but it's not bothersome. You'll also notice a bit of a tire noise. Thanks to simulated gear shifts, the engine doesn't drone at full throttle like some other CVT automatics. How's the interior? It's straightforward and user-friendly. The simple design ensures nothing is overly complicated. Navigating touchscreen menus is a breeze with an intuitive interface and handy physical buttons for key functions. The front seat is height adjustable, and the steering wheel has a wide range of adjustments, making it easy for drivers of all sizes to get comfortable. The tall roof and wide door openings mean getting in and out is a front and back cinch. Inside, there's plenty of headroom and legroom for everyone. Four adults can go on a road trip without feeling cramped. The windows are tall and narrow, except for the small upturned one in the rear, which adds the unique touch. How's the tech? The Soul is packed with standard and optional tech features that all perform well. Most trims sport a large 10.2-inch touchscreen that really stands out on the dashboard. The available Harman Kardon stereo system is a treat, delivering deep bass and great sound quality across various music genres. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard, making smartphone integration a breeze. You can also get wireless charging. The driver assist systems are reliable and didn't give us any false alarms during our tests. We were particularly impressed with the optional adaptive cruise control and lane keeping system, which worked seamlessly. How's the storage? The Soul boasts a deep cargo well providing more space than many other small SUVs. With 24.2 cubic feet of volume, it offers plenty of room, though there's a noticeable hump when you fold the rear seats, making it tricky for larger items. Front occupants benefit from a good number of bins and cubbies. 
However, installing a car seat can be challenging despite the roomy back seat. The anchors are set deep, making quick access difficult. Additionally, the base sole trim has non-adjustable rear headrests, which hinder access to the ropes on the back of the seat backs. How's the fuel economy? The EPA rates the sole at 30 to 31 miles per gallon for combined city and highway driving, which is pretty standard for its class. However, during real-world driving tests, hitting those numbers proved challenging. Is the Soul a good value? Absolutely. For a subcompact SUV, the Soul is quite affordable. While there isn't much soft-touch plastic, it isn't cheap. You'll find synthetic leather on the door rest for your elbow and a nice leather-wrapped steering wheel. The cabin also features plenty of textured trim to keep the all-black interior from feeling too monotonous. The Soul packs in a long list of standard and optional features, which is impressive for a vehicle that, even fully loaded, stays under $25k. Kia's top-notch warranty is 5 years or 60,000 miles bumper to bumper and 10 years or 100,000 miles for the powertrain. You also get 5 years or 60,000 miles of roadside assistance for added peace of mind. The Soul leverages its boxy shape to offer ample interior and cargo space. Its unique and unmistakable styling shows that affordability doesn't mean sacrificing fun, funkiness, or practicality. While its acceleration might not impress, the Soul is a blast to drive around corners and provides a comfortable ride. Currently, Kia hasn't released official details on the 2025 Soul. We'll update our recommendation if anything changes. Based on last year's model, we suggest the mid-range EX trim. It offers a much nicer interior with upgraded upholstery, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, heated front seats, and a sunroof. The Kia Soul, a subcompact hatchback, comes in five trim levels, LX, S, EX, GT Line, and GT Line Tech. All models feature a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder engine, delivering 147 horsepower and 132 pounds per feet of torque. This engine drives the front wheels through a continuously variable transmission, or CVT, with no all-wheel drive option. So, what do you think? Is it a hit or a miss? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more car reviews and tech insights, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.